Hello everyone, and welcome to our first ever Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Halloween Special. So, this is what Halloween looks like in Canton City, huh? You know, I can't help but wonder why so many people would want to celebrate concepts like terror and fear. I mean, even if it's just for fun, it still feels... wrong. But a lot of people are really excited for this holiday, so... I guess all the treats and goodies must be worth a few scares. Better be on high alert in case anything gets out of hand. I know it's all harmless. But that doesn't change the fact that it's still the perfect way for real evil to blend in. Russell, come in! Uh, Can you hear me? Uh, huh? Yeah, Trunks, they're coming through loud and clear. What's going on? We've got a situation in one of the large time rifts. I thought I could handle it myself, but... These two giant behemoths are attacking Hergil's house! I could really use some backup here. Whoa, that's crazy! I'll be right there. Nobody got hurt, did they? It's alright, I managed to evacuate the area. We'll be the only two here, so we won't have to hold anything back. Okay, awesome. I'll be there as soon as I can. Man, speak of the devil. I'm sure Trunks and I can handle a couple of great apes, no sweat. I just hope that's all that's waiting for us there. <laughs> yep, those are great apes, all right. Okay, Trunks, I'm here. What's the damage so far? Oh, great, thanks for coming. Take your pick, and I'll go after the other one. Those... Those aren't great apes! Trunks! Who are these guys? And why the heck would they be rampaging at Hercules' house? Well, one of them is called Harunagar. History dictates that he arrived shortly after Majin Buu. And the other one, even I'm unsure of. Looks like a mutation on Cell got horribly wrong. As for why they'd be attacking this place, her guess is as good as mine. Well, their power is nothing to laugh about. We shouldn't waste any time with these guys. I couldn't agree more. Let's take care of this fast. We don't know what they might be capable of. Egg sack might be Cell's weakness. Try grabbing that one's tail. <laughs> yeah, he definitely didn't like that. I don't know about this new Cell, but that's not it for Harudagar. I fought him before, and the only way to take him out is to fire an ultimate blast when he's been crippled. Alright, then I'll leave him to you. I think I've got Cell figured out. <laughs> Go ahead and try it! I'm right, you're finished now! They protect each other! This is gonna be harder than I thought! Don't worry, they're weakening! I know we can do this! I sure hope you're right! Wow, not that I'm complaining or anything, but when you sign up for the Time Patrol, they sure don't tell you anything about this! 
Bomber DX! Yeah, it's an isolated incident. When we get back, we need to find out what brought them. No! Couldn't they have just fallen in from a wormhole? Yes, that's very possible. But I'm starting to have my doubts about that. Tide Patrol, come in! Looks like we've got an emergency on our hands here. Uh, Elder Kai, I hear you. This is Brussel. How big is the emergency? Trunks and I are in the middle of fighting off a giant bug monster and cell on steroids. The capsule formed tide rift. Something terrible seems to be happening to those who the younger trunks. Damn it! Ugh. 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 Okay, fine, we're on our way. Trunks, come on, we gotta go! What? But what about... Just follow me, I'll explain on the way. I wish Elder Kai would have been more specific about what kind of distortion came up here. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary at all. Um, hello? Bulma? Dr. Brief? Uh, is anybody home? Ugh. Where the heck could they be? Gotenks. 
This was a severe distortion, and we were too late to stop it from happening. They never even unfuse. He was so... mangled that I didn't even want to make it worse by fighting him! <laughs> Damn it! What kind of unholy creature would put them through that kind of agony?! Russell, it's okay. We still have a chance to make this right. <laughs> what? I know this looks bad, but remember, we're time travelers. Now that we know this event takes place, all we have to do is go back in time and prevent Goten and the young me from being ensnared. I'm starting to think Harutagarn and that cell monstrosity were just a diversion so someone else could lay a trap. Okay, but we can't just ignore them. You're right, which is why I think you should take Ace along with you to go hold them off. What are you going to do? This is... personal, Russell. Whoever this was didn't just hurt my eight-year-old self. They hurt my childhood friend from the future I was able to protect. They're a coward who needed to distract us so that they could prey on the weak. Now that we know their agenda, I'm confident that I can more than handle this myself. Okay. I completely understand. I'll get in touch with Ace and we'll fight off those monsters at Hercules' house. Thanks for this. I owe you one. Just promise me you'll be careful. Of course. So important thing to know, when you're fighting the monster that looks like Cell, go for the abdomen. That's his weakness. As for the other one, Trunks said it doesn't have that same weakness. But you want to hit it with as many ultimate attacks as possible. No, I missed! Same mistake! 
needs our help! We can't waste any more time with these overgrown pests! That'll keep him down for now! Come on, we gotta move! reach that he's able to take over a veteran time patroller so easily. Ace 
Ace, you're the greatest patroller of all time. Is any of this familiar to you at all? Uh -uh. Elder Kai, come in! Sir, what did the creature who corrupted Gotenks and Trunks look like? Can you give us any actual details? Now you listen here, young man. I know my eyesight isn't what it used to be. But there's no way that creature showed up on my screen. It was invisible. No face, no features. Just a whole lot of static. That's all there is to it. The... What? No way. Is that... J Jocko? I don't believe it. What could you possibly be doing here? <laughs> nice to know the citizens I bust my neck over still show me the due respect for a galactic patrolman. You were hiding in the bushes, weren't you? What? I... Well... <clears throat> I will have you know that couldn't be further from the truth! If you must know, I was dispatched to a different location to courageously slay two giant monsters straight out of a nightmare! Did you know? But before I could finish them off, I was then called to this place to ward off the mannequin in the dashing black suit that I saw earlier. And I'm like, how in the galaxy do you expect me to do that? Why did I quit the Galactic Patrol and sign up for Ghostbusters? Wait, 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 back up a sec. What did you just say? Ugh, I said I was dispatched to a different location to courageously and single-handedly vanquish two enormous fire-breathing beasts! No, not that! What mannequin in a suit are you talking about? No, you can't slip anything past these eyes. I noticed it in the background when I first saw the giant monsters. I thought it was a pretty rare sight, so I decided to snap a quick photo, too. Shows up just fine on my state-of-the-art film. Leave the rest of this to you, then. Um, from what I've heard, the Slender Man is known for stalking its victims and turning them into brainwashed slaves. But in that picture, it seems to be looking right at you, Chaco. Why didn't it just turn you into another one of its puppets? Pfft, isn't it obvious? It obviously knew who it was dealing with, so it knew it had no chance of victory. No, that's not it. It went after Trunks without hesitation. But Jocko caught it on film. And he doesn't even have a scratch on him. It favors the innocent. But if the Slender Man attacks people indiscriminately, then... Ah, I've got it! That must be it! Ace, I know what we're up against! And I know how we can beat it! But first I need to know, are you a hybrid of Saiyan and human? Like Trunks and Gohan? Uh-huh. I was afraid of that. I'm sorry, but it'd be too dangerous to make you a part of my plan. I can handle fighting Trunks if something goes wrong. But to be honest, your full power is probably a little too much for me. I need Trunks with me for this. So, do you think you can hold down the fort at Hercules' house yourself? I think you're the only one who could pull that off. If the Slender Man is an extra-dimensional being, then it should keep its memories even throughout the timeline. 
And that's exactly what we'll use to send that demon back to where it crawled out of. <sighs> Trunks, are you back to your old self again? Yeah, I think so. Something got me from behind. And the next thing I knew, I felt something digging its way into my brain. Listen, I know what's going on. I sort of found out from Jocko, believe it or not. I know this sounds totally insane, but have you ever heard of something called the Slender Man? Yeah, I have. Kind of like today's version of the Boogeyman, right? Something like that. Look, we don't have a lot of time, but it's an extra-dimensional demon that brainwashes people. If it's extra-dimensional, then that might explain its existence here. An extra-dimensional creature would be able to travel through different realities. I'll bet ours is just its latest stop. It was able to corrupt you before, and I'll bet it remembers that. I think I might have an idea of how we can get the drop on it. If you've got a plan, then I'm all in. You trusted my instincts. Now it's my turn to trust yours. Thanks, buddy. Come on, we're gonna want to do this in the time vault. This is 
what I dreamed for! So I leave you in charge, and this is the extent of your power? Come on, man. You're making me look bad here.
completely unreal. I never imagined that thing would be able to ragdoll us both in a two-on-one fight. We shouldn't be surprised, Trunks. I guess it really is a nightmare come to life. But I have no idea where it went. It escaped right before I could blast it. Don't worry, I've got a pretty good sense of what its energy feels like. This way! But we'd better hurry. It's moving at a ridiculous speed! Are these guys giving you trouble? Uh, uh, yeah, just a little. Please. down no matter where you go, so you might as well quit trying to flee like a coward! You need fear to survive, don't you? Just like every other monster hiding in the dark, you have no power unless we give it to you! Let's settle this. Right here, right now! Uh, that... that doesn't scare me! I know you're not invincible! And we're going to prove it! He's not leaving these mountains. We're not gonna give him the chance! Bomber DX! You must have some weakness! Trunks, give it everything you have! Sorry, you'll find I'm not so easy to corrupt! Trunks, I got you! Seem to do something. No! Damn it! I knew it was only a matter of time, but this is ridiculous. Ah! <laughs> 
starting to wonder if this really is just some crazy nightmare! Things are coming, Ace. We need all the help we can get for this battle. Awesome timing, Ace! I knew you wouldn't let us down! That's it! The gloves are completely off now! I will do everything in my power to wipe you out of existence! I can't win this. Hold on, Trunks. Why, you! You're an abomination that doesn't even belong in reality! to let you run wild again! Bomber DX! I could feel its energy slowly dying out. I think it's finally over. We actually managed to pull it off. It looks like you were right after all. Slender Man apparently wasn't capable of corrupting anyone who didn't have human DNA inside them.
which made you immune. You took a huge risk, but I've gotta hand it to you. Swapping clothes and taking my place like that was pretty clever. Thanks. You know I'll always put my life on the line to defend time and space. We've got similar builds, so I thought it might be worth a shot. I'm just glad it all paid off. It also helps that we had the original hero of time on our side for this. I don't think we could have done it without him. It... yeah. Speaking of which, I hope he's okay! For a second back there, I didn't think I was gonna make it to him in time. Hey, how are you holding up? <laughs> you really are the greatest of all time, aren't you? You took down those giant monsters and came to help us against the Mastermind. No, I didn't. Whoa! So you can talk! A friend helped me. You don't know him. Oh. Well, okay. You know it's nothing to be ashamed of, right? Even legends need a little help from time to time. But, now that I know you're able to speak, why don't you try talking to us more often, dude? Trunks and I got off to kind of a rocky start, but now we're like best buds. I'm sure you must have all kinds of awesome stories to tell. Uh, yeah. Another time, maybe. Well, trust me, it beats staying silent all the time. Sure. Take it easy, man. Okay, what do you say we change back now? Your outfit's comfy and all, but I don't know how you can fight without any protective armor. <laughs> yeah, I've got a different battle suit specially made for that sort of thing. Well, at least now I see why everybody's so excited for Halloween. Their own sugar-crazed thrill-seekers! Seriously, what happened to us tonight? I would never wish on anyone. What? Ah! 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 What the... What's happening to me? Only the ending to this Halloween special is not canon to this playthrough. Thanks for watching, everyone. Look forward to the next part, part 22, where Brussel takes up his final exams for the Patroller Academy, investigates the remaining time rifts for any more clues leading to the origins of the distorted time eggs, and the diabolical Toa and Mira go on a quest for revenge. I'll see you there.